Danny Cunningham, ESPN Cleveland, JB, um, how big was Donovan for you guys tonight? 43 points, um, 17 and 27, had 17 in the fourth. What did he do to lift you guys? I mean, every one of them was needed, too. Um, you know, he was there to stop momentum, to stop runs, um, you know, to give us momentum when we needed it. You know, I think it's, again, that, that will to win. You know, want to help your team however you can. Um, you know, and kind of pull the train, you know, uh, on the offensive end. It seemed like throughout the game, you guys were able to push it out to 9 or 10, and then the Lakers would crawl back and tie it or take the lead. And then what was different about that last time you guys were able to push it out? Uh, I mean, I think our defense. You know, I mean, the fourth quarter, you, you know, we held them to 19 points. Um, but I think, you know, in that third quarter, um, there were too many loose balls that we didn't win. Uh, there were opportunities, you know, where – the scrap was on the line, and I thought they won in those moments. The fourth quarter, I thought we won the scrap. You know, all the 50-50 balls, uh, we came up with them, and you know, that's what our defense is based on. Kelsey. Kelsey, was the athletic. I know we talk about um, Jared a lot, but he went seven or nine for nine early in the end of the first quarter and everything. And how much does just his presence change things on both ends of the floor and, and the way that he was able to get into the paint tonight? I mean, you know, he, he can dominate the painted area on both ends of the floor. Um, and, you know, everybody knows, like, you win the paint, you win the game. And, you know, he set the tone early um, that he was going to go out and he was going to dominate the painted area. Uh, our guards did a great job of getting him the ball. You know, and now you've got a tough decision to make. You know, do you stop the ball handler or do you stop Jarrett, you know, in, in the paint uh, where he's so efficient? Um, and then defensively, like I thought tonight, we asked him to do a lot. You know, he had to guard LeBron on the perimeter. You know, then he would guard a big. Um, you know, so I, I thought he had to do a lot in his first night back. You know, I thought he was phenomenal. Going off of that, you know, obviously missing five games and, and dealing with that that low back contusion, just the way that he was able to so play so comfortably too, was that good to see just in this process of coming back? Yeah, you got fresh legs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but no, it, it's like. And that's where we're hopeful at some point, like the group gets together because the team does fit. And, you know, we just need more games, more reps together so we can continue to grow. Tom, Tom Withers, AP. JB, what does it mean to have a guy like Donovan who he kind of he wants those moments? He wants the ball in that kind of situation. What does that mean for a young team? Uh, I mean, it, it's, it's leadership. Um, it's a guy that you can depend on. Uh, in the thick of it, which, you know, isn't always easy and not everybody wants it. But, you know, he gives confidence to everybody on the floor um, because they believe in him and they know that he's capable of it. Um, but he doesn't do it in a way that takes away from other people. You know, he empowers his teammates around him. You know, he shares the ball. Like, he's not coming down just every possession and it's just about him. You know, he comes down in the possession about is what's the best shot available. Um, and, you know, if that's a pass because they double team him, he makes the pass. Uh, if it's his shot, he takes his shot. If it's attack and drop off to the big, he makes that play. Um, so it, it's not a and, – and it's, you know, to be honest with you, it's, it's unique in that, uh, in his ability to take and make big shots, but to empower his teammates at the same time. John. John Motor, Sports Illustrated Media Group, um, kind of piggybacking off of Kelsey's question. Anytime we talk about Jarrett, we talk about his presence around the rim or his defense, but um, we maybe underestimate him as like a jump shot shooter. Just how good is his jump shot? I mean, it's consistent. You know, I, I don't. I think he doesn't get a lot of them, um, which is good for us because teams don't scout it. But he's capable, you know, of knocking down the 15 to 17 foot jumper. Um, but he understands when to take it. You know, he knows where his strength is. He plays to his strength. And then if you leave him in a space, you know, he's coming and knocking it down. Do you guys have any maybe concerted effort to kind of get him involved early since he did have kind of the layoff? To, um, I, I think it was more what the defense was giving us. Uh, you know, he was in the paint and he was open. And his teammates just made the right decision. Uh, and then, you know, he had the job in finishing. Spencer. Spencer .com. We've talked about in the past how you guys kind of come up with counters when the pick and roll offense doesn't work, but do you sense a general just comfortability and natural feel when Donovan and Darius have Jarrett in their setting screens and in opening things up? Yeah, I mean, it by the numbers is elite pairings. Um, you know, and it's not 
just as easy as it may look, it's more scientific than we give it credit for, right? Understanding angles, understanding timing, understanding defenses and rotations, like it's calculated. Um, and I think from both standpoints, like Jared has the calculations down. You know, the guards have the calculations down. It's just more so about them playing more together. And, you know, the more they play together, the more lethal it's going to be. Bailey Burmaster, Cleveland 19 uh, News. How do you just describe Donovan, you know, this leader? He empowers everyone around him. I know it's early, but how has he measured up to meshing with this team? Because team chemistry was a big thing last year, and he has just flawlessly kind of found a way to be that person. But I'm also curious, has he also met your expectations or almost exceeded them? Um, you know, I had a bunch of conversations with people who worked with him in the past, and you know, they raved about him. Um, but you never really know until you get a guy in your building and you're with him every single day. Um, and, you know, he has exceeded all things that, you know, we thought and what people had said about him. Um, it's not easy to be as talented as he is and to fit as seamlessly as he does um, and to want to fit, right? Most superstars, you know, they can tend to end up being outliers, especially when going into a new group. And that's why it's difficult in the beginning to find that chemistry. Before, you know, the season started, when the trade happened, like he was in Nashville, I think it was like two days after the fact, you know, and he was with the group because he wanted to be a part of it. Um, I think it was after his, matter of fact, it was after his birthday. Like he was there on his birthday to be with the group. And that just speaks to how much, you know, what type of person he is and the character that he has. Okay, just going to wrap it up.